excuse me. Hi. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but have you, by any chance, seen a... Well, this is going to sound a little weird, but are, have you, by any chance, seen a cat run around here? You just got here. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Darn thing. It keeps running around and escaping my house for some reason. I think she likes having free roam around the place, but I keep telling her it's so dangerous. <laughs> hey. Are you, by any chance, the adventurer everyone's talking about? <laughs> Why are people calling you that? Well, it's simple, really. You are here. You're very different. And you are an adventurer. Naturally, when a new person comes into the forest, people talk, and news gets spread around that somebody has come to our well, neck of the woods, in a sense. <laughs> oh, you're trying to get out of here. That's understandable. There are many, many dangers in the shadows. So naturally, anybody who came here un unwillingly, I, I suppose, they don't want to stick around. Hmm? Has anybody wanted to? <laughs> Oh. Let me think for a second. Oh, that girl. The one who likes all those weird ghost things. Right, right. <laughs> the psycho spirits. Yeah, she actually likes it here. I think she likes the fact that she can unleash her own psychoticness on others while she's here. Oh, careful. You don't want to step just anywhere. There's a lot of well, weird noises, but sometimes if you go on the wrong path, or if you even barely hit the edge, you'll hear a crack like that. Uh -huh. Well, it usually means that there's danger nearby. How do I know this? Well, because I've seen it many times. People have gone off on the path they're meant to be going on, and they hear that same cracking noise before something or someone comes along and... Well, how do I put this nicely? Takes them. Huh? <laughs> I seem too nice to be here? Well, <laughs> that's sweet of you. Truth be told, I'm, well, I'm one of the original, in a sense, residents of this place the shadows. I used to be a guide. And then, well, things changed. Plans changed. And now I just live here. Peacefully, of course. Nobody tries to hurt me because, well, <laughs> you see my staff. I'm pretty much immune to anyone and anything here. Kind of a, a thank you, in a sense, for 
guiding so many lost souls in the past. Who gave it to me? Oh. Well, I'm sure you know or have heard about the one who sent you here. Kind of. Oh. Nobody's told you much about it. Well, that's understandable. It's supposed to mostly be a secret. But sometimes people slip up and either completely reveal the one who did all those things whereas others just give away hints so you mostly got hints well that's all the better for you the less you know about them the safer you are at least for now tell me if I may ask who has, who has visited you, at least most recently? Oh, oh, her. The crazy scissors lady, I sometimes call her. She doesn't like it, but she knows she can't do anything to me, so. <laughs> well, I can get away with it. <laughs> yeah. She won't do anything to me. Anyway, I hope she didn't scare you too much. You're still alive, and that's incredible. Usually when people run into her, they're... Well, they don't get so lucky. Well, you distracted her. That's very smart. How did you do that? Uh-huh. Wow. That is extremely clever. Good job. <laughs> Not to be rude, but I wasn't sure how much you'd be able to fare against her, but it seems like you're doing a very good job. I suppose you don't really need my help. Well, I can't help you in that. I'm not supposed to guide anyone anymore. <sighs> Let's see, though. I think I can do something without getting either of us in trouble. Let me think. Well, wait. Did you hear that? I swear I heard my cat just a few seconds ago. Sorry. Back to the thing. Mm. Oh, I know. Here, I'll make something for you. There we go. This, my friend, is... Well, it's a, uh... It's a... It's a little candy. Mm-hmm. It's a... Special candy, actually. Eat it only when you're tired. If you're tired, just pop it in your mouth and well, one, it's going to taste delicious. And two, it will keep you from getting tired. So you won't need to rest until you make it out. Why do I think you'll make it out? Huh. Let's call it a hunch. I'm sure people have told you before, there's something different about you. I can't quite tell what it is, but it seems like you are going to make it. So I might as well help a little bit, right? Make it a little easier on you, so you're not wandering and following the beacon for, for a very, very long time here. You know? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? <laughs> You're welcome. Look, some piece of advice? I'm sure you know this already, but 
You have no reason to be afraid. You've done so well recently, fighting off the fears and the scariness of some of the creatures that I'm sure you've ran into. One of which being Little Miss Psycho Scissors. <laughs> but, well, considering the fact that you're already over halfway, things are just going to get a little crazier, a little scarier. But, take heart. Don't be afraid. The candy will also help you be able to move a little faster. So, hopefully, you'll be able to make it to the end sooner without as many issues. I can't promise that, though. You creatures in here are fast. But I can try my best to help at least a little bit. Hmm? Any more words of advice? Oh, let's see. Take what people say with a grain of salt. Not everyone here is meant to help you or give you sage, sage, sage advice. <laughs> I know, I know I'm a witch and I should know that phrase, but sometimes it slips my mind. <laughs> Where is she? I swear, if she makes it into your plane of existence again, I'm going to seriously have one really strong talk with her. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, it's not like she really interferes, but she does have a tendency to talk to stray neckos in the cities. Don't get me wrong, my heart goes out to them, but still, it's dangerous to show yourself to people like that. Or, well, neckos, I guess. And if a person saw her, well, that could cause some problems. Especially if they decide to try and kidnap her and take her for their own, well, pet. Mm-hmm. Well, she is a sweetheart. I'll give her that. But still, at the very most, or at the very least, she should be careful. Humans can be so, hmm, unpredictable at times. So it's good to be cautious. But you're right. There's nothing wrong with being a little helpful here and there. she is. <laughs> Just sitting there waiting for me to go to her. I swear, she does this on purpose just to get me riled up. If you'll excuse me, adventurer, I'm going to take her back home and I'll teach her the importance of at least asking permission before going out of the house. It is dangerous out here after all, especially for us Nekos. We're not exactly considered the most, um, fearsome creatures out here. So, naturally, we're not taken very seriously. <laughs> oh, don't mention it. Remember, just take the candy when you're tired. It'll help you more when you're tired as opposed to when you're awake. All right? No problem. Like I said, don't mention it. Take heart. Stay strong. You'll get out of this soon enough, I'm sure of it. My little knuckle friend there, who I'm going to have a stern talk with in a minute, and I are rooting for you. Good luck, safe travels, and hopefully you'll get out really soon. <laughs> 